Hello YouTube, it's time for an M20 tech tip. I'm sure many of you have been in this exact scenario here to where you have your marks lined up. You get your mark down here for the M20 timing belt lined up at the lower timing cover. And then, you know, you've got your uh, cam gear lined up with the mark on the cylinder head right here. And you're like, oh my gosh, I've got the tensioner all the way in and I just can't get the belt on. Well, let me tell you what, I've done a bunch of these over the years probably more than I care to count. And there's a trick. So the slack on the belt currently is right here. It's on the tensioner side and that's intentional. So you can, you know, release the spring and, and uh, pull the slack out of the belt without um, messing with the alignment of the crank and the cam gear. So it's, you know, it's supposed to be that way. However, if you take, here, I'll zoom up. If you take this crank and you go back just a quarter inch, see how that, took some of that slack out of this side of the belt. Well, naturally now you have enough slack to slide the belt on. I did that one handed. When's the last time you did M20 timing belt? One hand. Um, yeah, I've been doing that trick for years. And then uh, when you get the belt on, give me a sec. I'm trying to do this while I'm holding the camera. Um, you don't want to push too hard because um, the edges of the, the cam gear are pretty sharp you don't want to mess up the belt so now let's go down here and move this back to the correct mark now you've got an m20 timing belt that's all lined up and the tension is back on the correct side of the belt here so you can release the tensioner spring and go about the rest of the job as usual hope that helps